Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm coming with another gift idea tutorial. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step. Consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video. In this way you motivate me to make more and more tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what you need for this video are two colors of Ato beads. By the way, you could check description for full list of materials, Facebook page to share pictures of your creation that you did following me, link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel, and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. And now let's continue. Here you will also need 8mm pearls. I'm using 7 of them because I'm making a bracelet with 6 components and a ring. But if you want to make your bracelet longer, my wrist is small. That's why I'm making it shorter. Maybe you will need additional pearls and if you decide to make earrings, you will also need 2 more pearls. Here I'm using a toggle clasp, you could use any type of clasp you like. And I'm connecting uh, my components of the bracelet with these jump rings. Here I will need uh, seven of them, five between the elements and two for this toggle clasp. Uh, by the way, you could connect the components with seed beads if you want. And I have a similar tutorial for a bracelet that I'll link here. And you see how I'm connecting the components with seed beads. What else I need is this monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle, scissors, and flat nose pliers to attach all the elements. And now I'm going to take about three feet of thread on my needle, which is about 90 centimeters, and I'll be back. And how I start my work, I started with a simple herringbone stitch. If you're not familiar with it, it's really simple and I'll show it here slowly and easy. So first I need four red atos slide those down, stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and how I do this I make a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then what I want to do is one more knot. Now guys here at this step what I want to do is get rid of this tail thread. Well, I'm not sure that one knot will be enough to get rid of it. That's why I'm going through some beads in this direction. And I want to make an additional knot here from the other side of my work. You see, it's just to be sure it's all tight and secure and will not fall apart. Okay, here you could do one more knot. And when you make your last knot, you cut, you go through the following seed bead and then cut your thread. Uh, don't cut next to a knot. Okay, now after that I want to make an additional reinforcement of these four beads. This is what I do just in the beginning to be sure everything will be nice and tight. Okay, like this. Additional reinforcement. Now I will go just through one of the red beads in this direction. Okay, this is what I have. And I will take one of my Avery Ato beads. Ivory beads. You could use other color, of course. And I'm pulling. And now I have this. Then again, I'm going to take two beads, go here through this one. And this is the famous herringbone stitch, but with a little addition. See, if I turn it like this, it's like a regular herringbone. But with this white addition, 
uh, it starts bending at one point. If I make regular herring bone like this without adding the white beads, it goes in a straight line. But with adding these beads, it starts bending at some point. And by the way, I made beautiful spiral earrings with this bending. And I'm going to show you them here at the eye icon and down there in description. Okay, so now I'm adding the same way this bead. Going through this one, taking it and going backwards through the, through the neighbor one. This is what I'm going to be doing until the end of my work, guys. Okay, so I take again two. I go backwards through the neighbor one. Okay, like this. Then I put my thread in front of this bead, this ivory bead that is added. And I go through these two beads here in this direction. Okay. Then again, I go backwards. And I take one ivory and I go like this. Okay, these steps I make until I have the desired length. Okay, two, go backwards, fix them a little bit, then put your thread in front of the ivory bead and go backwards through these two reds then one more time backwards take one ivory bead and go through the neighbor bead here and when you pull it sits like this and makes the twist okay so take two go back go in front of this ivory and go like this and go backwards ivory and go like this okay now I have five ivory beads sticking out and six row of red beads and I need to have guys and see how this is bending at this stage you see it starts bending and what I need are 14 rows of red beads divided by 13 ivory beads and then I'll be back Okay, guys, now I have 14 rows of the red beads of the red herring bone, you may see. And I have 12 of these beads that are sticking out the ivory color. And I now I'm adding the 13th one. Okay. Since I have 14 of these rows, spaces between them are 13, so I have 13 of those for now. And what I want to do in my next step, you see, um, first, before I tell you what I do next, is I want to tell you that uh, it makes a beautiful spiral if you continue this. And you could turn it in earrings like this by itself as you may see from the tutorial and if you continue more and more you could make a bracelet okay so now it's time to show you the next step you see my thread is exiting out of here and i want to close it in a circle like this before it turns into a spiral okay so as i'm exiting through this red bead here this one you see my thread i'm going in this red one okay and when i pull i connect them 
Now I go in front of the white like I did before and I connect the next two red beads. Okay. Then I go again in front of the white and I go one more time in this direction. Okay, like this. Now I want to connect one more of these ivory beads. So I go backwards the same way through the red like I did before. Okay. I'm exiting out of this red as you may see and I take one of these ivory beads and I go backwards through the neighbor one like I did so many times before but this time I close them in a circle okay when I close those in a circle here at this space I could add one more of the ivory beads and now I have 14 ivory beads and what I might want to do at this stage is reinforce a little bit this space okay and now what I want to do here guys is go through those red beads inside you see where I'm going inside between the two red rows why I do this maybe you already know I'm going to take my pearl and I'm going to go through it and put it in the middle here okay I'm pushing it like this then what I do is that I go in the same place between the two red rows okay here I'm between the two red rows my thread is exiting out of this hole then I'll go in the neighbor hole you see and again through the hole of the pearl and again through the hole of the pearl and I'm going to do the same thing here going in the center between the red beads you see then in the neighbor hole and through the pearl one more time in this way i'm making nice loops that hold my pearl okay and i think now it's time to reinforce okay and i will reinforce it from this side then I'll reinforce it from this side and I'll be back. Okay guys and when I'm ready reinforcing what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread and how I do this I make here a loop I go once and I go second time through this loop I've made and then I pull and then I go through some of the following seed beads and I could repeat this knot several more times when i'm ready i'm going through some beads and then i'm cutting my thread as close as possible to my work okay guys and now the same way i did five more elements so i have six elements in total for my bracelet as out as i told you you could do less or more and now i want to show you how to connect them in a bracelet first i'm going to start by attaching my clasp here okay this toggle clasp i will need a jump ring and a part of my toggle clasp of course i will need my pliers or if you want you could use a pair of pliers but i think i handle it this way as well okay and i put this here and then i put my toggle clasp here as I told you you could do all of this with seed beads these attachments if you don't have jump rings uh, so and I have a tutorial that you could see about this okay and now 
I'm opening this jump ring also. Okay. And I want to go at the opposite bead here. Like this. Find the opposite bead. This one. How do you find it? It should be six beads away. Six beads space from here and from here. Then I take my next element. Attach it like this and close the jump ring. Okay. I have this here attached. Then I'm going to take my next element and one more jump ring. I open this one up. And again here, I will uh, need to find the opposite bead which is six beads away, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm putting this jump ring through the seventh one. And then I take this one and I go through one of those beads and I squeeze back in the same way and in the same direction as I opened it. Okay. And I will continue adding those elements and I'll meet you at the other part of my bracelet. Okay guys, and absolutely the same way I attached all the elements here and I attached my toggle clasp. And now I want to show you how to make a ring. I'm sure now at this stage you know how to make earrings. Just directly attach your earring finding to this bead in the hole of this bead and you will have a nice earrings. And uh, another thing I want to tell you is that you could turn this into a necklace because it sits really nicely like this. You could just attach a chain here or uh, you could continue with the elements and make a necklace. Okay, and now I want to show you how to make a ring. Okay, and for a ring, I need one of my elements and a new thread on my needle. Okay, so not very long, even less than half an arm span will be enough. Okay, so I want to attach this thread to my work. Okay, I'm going like this with my new thread and I'm holding uh, my tail thread with my thumb. And what I need to do next is make a loop and go twice through the loop I've made and pull and then go through some beads in this direction. Okay, and you could repeat this knot, of course, as I told you. And now cut your thread here, tail thread. Now with the same herring bone, I want to make a ring band and I'm taking two ivory beads and I'm going backwards through two beads. As I'm exiting here, my thread is here, I'm going backwards like this and I'm going in two beads, okay? Now, uh, to be more clear, you see I have a loop here between these beads and these two red beads, as you may see. This is what I have and I pull. Then I go one more time through this here. And this time I'm going to do a regular herringbone stitch for my ring band. Okay. Adding two, going backwards. Taking two, going backwards like this. Going like this and through these two beads that I just added. And by the way, you could do it with red beads or alternate 
the red and uh, the ivory colors with the ring band. Now I'm going to do this only with ivory. Well, sometimes if you want to reinforce, you could go through more beads in this direction. Okay. And I'm going to continue, guys, with this ring band until I feel it is okay for my finger. Or for the finger of the person that you're making it. By the way, if you make it shorter, let's say like this, you could make a nice button or you could make a nice blouse decoration and sew it to, to a blouse or to a shirt, whatever you like. Okay, so now I'm going to continue for the ring band and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I did 23 rows. You could do less or more <clears throat> depending on your finger. And now I want to connect this with this one. These two beads with these two beads. I want to connect the opposite two here. And how I find the opposite two, I'm counting one, two, three, four, five beads. And these two are the opposite. So I should connect these beads to the opposite two beads. Okay. So as I'm exiting here through this white bead. Okay. I'm going here through these two. Like this. Going through these two. And when I pull... You see this white comes here to my work. Then I go, let's say two or three beads in this direction. Okay. And then it's a matter of reinforcement. Okay, and when I'm ready reinforcing, I will do here the familiar step for a knot. Okay, I will make a loop. And I'm going twice through the loop I've made. And I pull. And I could repeat this knot several times. Then I go through some beads in this direction and I cut my thread. And now guys, my ring is ready. Okay, I have it here on my finger and you see the back. Okay guys, and now my beautiful ring and bracelet set is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't. And in this way, you will know when I make new tutorials, usually twice a week and you will be inspired often. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful work that you did following me, link for PayPal for donations, link to my second channel with the fast clips and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Thank you so much for watching, bye bye from me!